Hello world, who are you here? And today, I'm gonna take you through the steps necessary so that you can set up a local server environment within Visual Studio Code using an extension. I'm also gonna take you through extra additional steps so that you can configure Visual Studio Code so that your files will save automatically after a set delay, which in turn means that your browser will also refresh automatically. So if you notice right here, I'm gonna make some changes to this title and you'll see that after the delay, the browser is refreshed with the changes. And this will also work with the CSS and the JavaScript. So if you find this video useful, please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Now, let's jump right in. So once you open up Visual Studio Code, the first step is going to be clicking here on the extensions. Once you're there, you're going to search for Live Server. You will get many results, but usually it's going to be the first one. Let's click it. You can double check that you're getting the right extension by looking at the publisher name, who is Ridwick Day. You can also use this video screenshot as a reference. I believe it's a project by Brad Traversy. Now let's click install. And just like so, it is now enabled globally. So let's close this. We will go back to the explorer and then when we click on the index.html, we now have the option to open with live server. You can also go here on the bottom right corner and click the go live button and it will run the project. And just like so, you have already set up a local server environment. But there's one issue. If we go here, for example, in the heading and we make some changes, nothing will happen. And the reason for that is because we still have to save the file manually, as indicated by the little bubble here. So let's do that. And just like so, you see that the changes have now taken effect. What we have to do now is configure Visual Studio Code so that it saves the file automatically after a set delay. So let's click here on the gear icon. And then we'll go inside of the settings and we will look for autosave. By default, it's going to be turned off. What you want to do is click after delay. Then what you have to do now is actually here in the autosave delay, you want to change it to a value of your choosing. By default, it's one second, but I prefer setting it to 600 milliseconds, which is a little over just half a second. Now, what we can do is exit out of here, and now we can test it again. So let's go ahead and add some more text. And there you go. The file is being saved automatically and the browser is being refreshed. So let's make some more changes. For example, remove what I just typed in, and you'll see that it's gone. It's that simple. So if you found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.